Hi there, Alexi Ballion back. Mr. Ballion, you guys here in my room. Okay, so I'm just going to do a bit of troubleshooting here. I'm not. I'm just going to review my lesson from this uh, from today. So this is one attempt. Um, let me just come down here and show you what I've done in the past. This is my goal. Okay, two, three, and four. Okay, roughly these are the four pieces. I'm thinking of adding the fifth piece somewhere in here. Okay, this looks all fine. And this is the one I actually did in my tutorial number two right here okay so what I want to do is I'm gonna pick a different one and I'm gonna show you I'm just gonna review this one more time notice that this here is not representative of what's over there in my UV texture editor how did I get there first of all you click you come over here edit UVs UV texture edit, and there it is it pops up right off the bat so what I want to do is like yeah okay that's fine not interested select once come over here to create UV click on planner mapping option Okay, make sure you're inbounding. Look at the angle. Boys, can we get that? Thank you. Look at the angle here, and it's Z, so I change it to Z. And the minute I press apply, check out the difference. This is cool, which I did in my uh, tutorial earlier. So this is good, right? Now I'm seeing the inside faces. Before, I was not. So I'm just going to click out and relax, not panic. Select all these pieces. Make sure when you are selecting, do not go into vertex mode. Go to UV mode. Okay, so boom, right here. Now nice green uh, dots are out. Those are the verts, UV verts. Press R for scale. Have fun with this, okay? So I'm just going to come up over here, zoom out like that. And this looks pretty good. Looks uh, a good representation of what I have. Next, I'll just come in here and tweak things. For example, right here, selected, uh, get out of uh, scale, left aligned, done. Again, this will not work if you're in the vertex mode. Watch again. I'm going to do a Command Z a couple times. Okay, I'm just going to right click here quickly, go to vertex, select these pieces, left align, not happening. This time, I'm going to come around and go UV. Select the same points, which are called vertices, verts, and boom, it's aligned sweetly. Beautiful. I'm going to take these guys here, and I'll align them to the left as well. Cool. Mm, let's look over here. Yeah, why don't I align this guy here uh, to the left? Done. These guys to the right. And uh, there's a lot going on here. Why is that? What's going on here? I'm looking here. Do I have an extra cut? Oh, I know what's going on. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'm not going to touch this yet. Okay, here's what I want you guys to remember. Okay, we're only going to texture one side and mirror it to the other, okay? So for now, just to keep your life simple, I want you to do this, okay? You are in high school, so right-click, top view. Okay? So what I'm going to do is <laughs> one of these things belong with the other. Here we go. Uh, get rid of that one. Bye-bye. Okay, so I believe, let me go into uh, perspective view and try to figure this one out. Where are you? Does this have two sides? No, it doesn't. And this one does. Okay, yeah, so this is, this is the one that's selected. So what I'm going to do is delete the other half, and I want you guys to do the same thing. So spacebar, right-click, top view. Beautiful. And now I'm just going to zoom in here, and I'm going to right-click and go to face mode and say bye-bye to all these faces. See ya. Notice that little angle there. Delete. Okay, so perspective, uh, Maya, right click on, sorry, space bar, boom, right click, and let's go to ortho, which is front view. Okay, so now I go to my UV here, and I guarantee you that little angle is not there anymore. Okay, so you can see that nice. Okay, um, just an FYI for you guys, you see this little edge here. If you're not seeing the inside face, guys, someone at the door there, please. Thank you. Okay, so here, check it out. Uh, when I first started working with this one, I had these two pieces basically aligned this way, and I didn't, and I wasn't seeing it. So what I did, I just pushed it over. Okay, so these are things you guys can play with, and I can come in here and go uh, right uh, align done, just like this. If you want to be perfect, left align, and then you know it's not symmetrical at this point, guys. I could have fixed that here, so just keep that in mind. Okay, it's not perfectly symmetrical. It's not the end of the world. Okay, I can pop this down a touch. Okay, like that, and these guys down a bit more, and so on. Okay, so take these guys down. We go. Okay, so uh, it's okay. I'm happy with this. All right. So what I'll do, um, I'll just gonna model this piece here for you guys. There's some intricacies here, so we'll do that, okay? So I'm just going to command shift s this section here. Demo 3 on Wednesday. Okay. 
and that's saved and I'm gonna do some more things get rid of this okay so get out of the mouse okay so object mode again boom come over here and uh, this isn't animated okay no problem uh, just come over here I'm just gonna delete the history edit I think everybody should do this edit delete by type history bye bye notice this all cleaned up here and this will be blade number two or something who knows Blade 02, good. And then at frame one, I'm gonna right click on the word transparency and I set a key at its full opacity mode and go to frame two. I right click here and set key and just slide this over a touch. Sweet, done. Okay, all right, so let me just do a couple more things for you guys here. I am in ortho view, in the front view here, okay? Control A, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna make a new piece now. And let's just keep the background on reference, please, so I don't inadvertently select it. Okay, so I'm just going to make this piece here, the guard. Edit Mesh. Pardon me, Mesh Tools, uh, Create Polygon Tool. Okay, I'm going to start somewhere. Let's see here. Let's do half. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to get interesting. Seven. I haven't really thought this through at this point, but we'll solve it. I'll come over here and come back. Okay, W out. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly come into uh, vertex mode, vertex, and I'm gonna zoom in here. You guys know that there are two pieces that are not connected. Select these two. Where is my uh, merge components? Done. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring my uh, modeling tools. I'll notice that this is an easy cut, so I need a cut there and another cut over here for now. Uh, actually, I could have done a bit more here. That's okay. Uh, let's do this. Double click here. Oops, not this one, pardon me. Multi cut. So from here to there, uh, return or enter over there. I'm just gonna come from here, cross, return, and then another one from here to there. Come on, and it's kind of cool. Huh? You can actually move this up and down. It's a really awesome tool. Done. Okay. So uh, later on, I may have to put another. Actually, why don't we just do that here? You'll get what I mean in a minute. Maybe not in a minute, but there it is. Okay, cool. I better get out of this. WW escape or something. Boom. Out and in vertex mode. Okay. So uh, W here. Align this this way. This one this way. That kind of thing. Okay, so what I want to do is, is mirror this down, and I'm going to do this in a second. I'm going to go into perspective view for a minute, and you'll see where I'm going here. Oh, baby, where is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. I can press F to frame it. Well, so much framing there. Object. Oh, it's not center, that's why. Modify, center pivot. That's better. Boom much better. So now I'm just going to extrude on the edge here. I know you guys know this technique already, extrude. And, oh baby, this isn't cool. And I may have to spin around. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's not what I want. I want this to be in the flat mode here. Okay, here we go. And if I'm in another view, and I can align this up in the side view. Okay, so let's just see this right view. Is it there? Okay, yeah, it's not bad. Okay, back to perspective. Sorry. Spin around. Okay, so I wanted to make that point a little sharper. So I'm trying to, let's go to panel orthographic front view quickly and sort this out as they say. Okay, vertex, I'm just gonna just tweak this to a point. Bring this like that, this one up here, and, and then that's not bad, right? Okay, so object mode. Cool, let's just save this before we lose anything. And number four for today. You may go, yep. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna use this awesome tool here, the mirroring tool. So watch this. And right now notice that Y is in the positive. So I'm gonna double click here. And I'm gonna go negative Y and hopefully this works. Yeah, good. Okay, no worries. Uh, verts, go to vertex, select these two, and let's merge these two together. Done. These ones, G, I think it's done. Okay, cool. So now I have the same piece, 
Whoa, what ha what's going on here? Just one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, four faces. That's good. Uh, no, tr no triangles here whatsoever. Okay. Uh, object mode. Boom. Uh, right click. Let's center this. Okay, so it's better. Right click, verts, and W, like something like that, and over all that kind of business. Okay, I don't know why this is looking kind of weird, but it's it's okay. I can work with this. All right. Object. Yes, absolutely. So something's happening here. I'm not cancel. Okay, okay. Command S uh, before I lose what I have. Uh, Control A just to see here. Um, was this not? Yeah, I don't know why this. There we go. Oh, everything's blocked out. Okay, so Levy. Oh yeah, I didn't do it yet. Okay, so uh, let's go right click here. Set key. Come over here. Frame two set key and it's not doing it that's okay I know what I want so at this point uh, like before um, this is my second piece basically and I'll make a third piece in the future over here so you don't need that how could I have made this easier yeah I think the cuts are okay so object uh, perspective view and what I'll do right now is I'll select these faces quickly uh, right click uh, face, double click here. Oh, really? The whole ring should have been lighted, lit, but that's okay. So what I'll do right now is I can actually extrude from the edge. Oh well, let's see. Come out, right? And then let's go to R to scale and then bring that in a touch. Okay, so that's not bad. I'm okay with that. That's easy to texture later, I think. Okay, object, cool. Command, whoa, what's going on here? Yep, it's fine. So what you, really what I need to do is I gotta work in front view and uh, and work on the verts here. Like you see, vert here, boom. W, bring that up a touch. This one goes back a touch. This one goes up and so on, okay? That kind of thing. Really, you know, it's fine. I'll fix all this afterwards on my own. You don't need to watch me do that. Okay, so, object. So, uh, select it. Control A. And this will be my new guard. Okay, so I would make a layer for it, but I'm not. You've seen me do it. Look, it's this simple, guys. Come over here. Uh, layer 1, double click. And guard 2. O2. Give it a color, nice fuchsia there. Click out, there it is. Okay, so if I hit V, bye bye, back on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is quickly come over here and go to Create Planner, make sure, wow, that's nice, and then Edit UV, check it out. Nice, I'm very fortunate. This method works, okay? Here it is, click out, and let's go into UV mode, which we are, like that, and Okay, so there's some things that are overlapping here, so just watch carefully here, and let's find out where things are looking kind of funny here. Okay, so there's something crossing here. Uh, I can actually come over here and be in perspective view to get a better sense of what's going on. Oh, yeah. You know what else I didn't do? Uh, I'm going to do this right now. Face, one, double click. Oops, nope, not today. I don't need these inside faces, guys. And you should do that too, okay? And double turn around. An extra face selected. Spin around. Delete. Oh, Command Z. I missed one. <laughs> right there. Bye bye, my friend. See ya. You die. And press delete. Okay, cool. Ooh, man, really? There's an extra one, friends. Here we go. This one as well. Now we go delete, say bye-bye, Gonski. Okay, cool. My life is easier now. So back over here, UVs, and I'm going to just R, scale it in a bit, obviously, and I can click on this awesome rotate tool. Sweet. And, whoop. Okay, for now, I'm just going to W to get out of that. I'm going to zoom in somewhere around here. There's something here not right. So take this piece. Okay, cool. This one in. And there's the back piece right there. Okay, so another one. 
right there, like that. And this one's okay. This one, see? This one, boom. I just need to know where things are and then I'll line them afterwards. So I need to find the inside one there. So what I'll do is I'll select it from here, like that. And there it is. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to tape taper this in. Taper this in. Take this up like that. And over. Right. Okay. So shift, bring it up like that. And then what we want to do is keep these uh, outside faces consistent in terms of width. Okay, so I can take these two across, bring that in. So it's not bad. Okay, and I need to do the same thing on this side and then I'll end this tutorial. Okay, so spin around here, come over here and let's come and check these guys out here. Okay, I want to find this inside ed um, vertex. There it is. Oh baby, this is gonna confuse us. No problem. Take this one down, over. Yep. Notice this one now. Look where it is. Yeah. Bring this one over. If this is too dark for you, um, you can do it like this too. But I think the contrast is nice. Okay. So I'm gonna take these four pieces and then drag it over. Okay. Bring these two here like that. And I'm gonna take this piece over as well, so you kind of see that. And then this one is over on this side, like that. Okay, like that, and these ones come over. And then you just try to align it to your best ability. Okay, so I know it's not perfectly aligned, guys. That's okay. So what I can do here now, go one, two, three, obviously, four, five, six, and seven, I can align up. Yeah, that's nice and clean. So we'll take this one. Three, four, five, six. I'm holding shift and I'm going to line up. Look at that. And then I just bring it down a bit. Okay, so you get where I'm doing. I'm not going to take up more of your time, but this is cool. This is working. Okay, if I want, I can even align these up here. Okay, no, that's cool. It's fine. Okay, I think this is enough for now. I don't want this to be a super long tutorial, but it's looking pretty nice. Uh, come over here on my sheet, R it, scale it, and then, oh baby, and Z. You can also select this icon here. The minute I do that, everything is selected. Okay, so R, you know what's going on, like this a touch, and W, over. Okay, so I have this piece done, and I also have my blade. I hope it's this one. Yep. So obviously the proportions are off. So I could have taken this, made its own piece, and it would have been bigger. But I didn't do that. Okay. So you can do all these things, guys. There's many ways to the end. Okay. So one, two, Dunsky. Ballion out. Thank you.